pandemic disrupted a lot of people's jobs, and while many have bounced back, others are still searching and would love to find the right job to start the new year. But that can make them targets for scammers, especially now that the pandemic has made work from home schemes more believable. Two News Oklahoma problem solver Pete Knudsen tells us how as we count down the 12 scams of Christmas. Like millions of others, Daniel Martin lost his job during the pandemic, but he caught a break. A work from home interview with a new company. I was really excited. Like it was, it was, it sounded like a really good position with like a, like a lot of possibilities for growth within the company. They sent Daniel a contract and assigned him a project. The company was moving their offices and needed him to procure new equipment. Since he wasn't full time just yet, he'd have to purchase the laptops with his credit card and the company would reimburse him. For the next two weeks, I completed a total of three purchase orders. Uh, and all the payments were posting perfectly fine. Later, though, the charges suddenly reversed and Daniel's credit card balance exceeded $15,000. After speaking with a bank representative, he learned the account owner had reported the charges as fraudulent. They probably, in some other way, scammed someone else mm -hmm. to get their, uh, their account and routing number, and then they gave me that information to pay my credit card. Daniel says he should have known better, but his excitement clouded his judgment. And this is happening to job hunters around the country. According to the Federal Trade Commission, consumers reported losing more than $150 million to these scams last year. Amazon is offering you an opportunity to work from home as an associate member and make up to $400 a day. The feds are cracking down on job scams, but many still fall through the cracks. And it's up to you, Daniel says, not to fall victim. Anything at any point during any part of the process they ask you to buy anything, just don't. If someone contacts you about a job, call their HR department and ask if they're hiring. Google the company address and search the name of the company followed by the words complaint or scam. It could keep you from getting ripped off, especially during the holidays. Pete Knutson, 2 News Oklahoma, Problem Solvers.